guys so i wanted to be transparent i am very nervous about making this video and if you guys are seeing it it's because i had the balls to upload it um it is mother's day i am so just emotionally um broken today i i don't want to go into you know details why i'm sure you guys can probably process why so I'm going to be doing a lot of emotional eating and I already know it's going to happen because I have some food in front of me. So I kind of want to make this video to show you guys how it is for me on a day where I just do not care. I want to eat all my feelings. I want to binge. I feel possessed for the whole day. Like I don't care. Like I'm not myself. Kind of like I'm on the outside watching myself and I just wanted to show you guys kind of what that looks like for me and it's unfortunate and this is kind of just what it is so this is a what I ate today I'm gonna show you guys the first thing I'm gonna eat so I ordered Mexican food here are the chips Mexican rice and we have some tamales honestly this looks freaking delicious so I am Super pumped, and I'm going to watch a TV show while I eat this and numb all my feelings. So here I go. Okay, so this is how much I've left of this and the rice. I did eat some chips. Hey guys, so it is the next day. It is Tuesday. It is supposed to storm really bad. I'm kind of like freaked out by it. Becky loves storms. But why I'm here, why I wanted to pop in, we got Chick-fil-A. And I got their wrap, okay? I've always wanted to try it, so I'm going to show it to you guys. It's literally just the wrap with chicken, lettuce, and cheese. And it does come with like a dip. And I wanted the lemon, or it's lime cilantro or something like that. But it didn't come with it. Instead, they gave me the ranch, which I haven't even opened because... I don't need it at all. I don't even need the lime stuff that I did not get. Because <laughs> this is so delicious and it's only six points on Weight Watchers. You guys, this is freaking delicious. I could eat this every day. I need to figure out how to make it myself. It's just, I think what makes it is the chicken. It's just so good. I don't know. So, haven't ate anything today and it's 5 p.m. I am starving. Like I said, we've been just cleaning and organizing and putting away packages and stuff like that. So, we got Moe's. I got some queso, which is really good, and there's chips in here. What I get in my burrito is <laughs> literally three things. I get chicken, rice, and cheese, and that is it because I like my stuff dry. I know I'm, like, so weird. I don't like a wet burrito. That just, like, creeps me out. So, we're going to... um have our food and there's this show on YouTube that I'm like obsessed with the moment of truth I don't know how these people aren't winning all of the money I would literally win all of the money I just don't understand it's so crazy but you guys need to watch this it's super entertaining people go on the slide detector it's test great. it's great stuff of the kiwi starfruit refreshers in the biggest size yeah no problem <laughs> and then um Two of the chocolate cake pops. Of course. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Awesome. It's going to be 1526. I'll see you up at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I like when I go somewhere and people are like overly friendly because it. I usually feel like, like a burden, even though these people are like supposed to, you know, be my servers and everything. I go to a restaurant and I feel bad for asking for a refill or something. And it's like. Yeah. You shouldn't because that's their job, but, and then whenever they're overly friendly, it doesn't make me feel bad. Because it seems like they like their job? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we both got a new drink that we've never had before. The kiwi starfruit. Yeah, kiwi starfruit. <laughs> Becky always gets like awkward to say venti. I don't understand why. Because I forget the sizes, like tall grande venti like i can't remember what they all mean <laughs> I, I think tall is small and grande is medium and venti is big i think 
I mm. think Grande is a small one. My ex girlfriend's mom was like completely obsessed with Starbucks. So she tried to teach me the Starbucks lingo and it just never. The Starbucks lingo, eh? Yeah. I didn't know there was a Starbucks lingo. That's Starbucks lingo. The sizes? The sizes with the. A uh, double shot of espresso. Oh, yeah. Calf, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like. I never do any of that because I'm just like, I don't even know. You want to know what I'm used to? Plopping some coffee in a cup, putting some sugar, some milk, call it a day. I'm used to just not drinking coffee. I don't even like tea, but something about Starbucks refreshers, they're not lying when they say that they are refreshing. Right? I just love tea. Yeah, that's true. Becky has a whole tea collection now. Maybe we can show you that. Because she... I don't know. I'd say you drink one tea a day. At night. Sometimes, yeah. Normally. That's usually... She don't, like, drink it during the day or anything. But I will let you know how this tea uh, goes. Because I've never had it before. Alright. Here it is. I will say the appearance is not cute. Because I don't like those, like, things on the inside. It, it looks, looks like... like Pickles. It looks like mold. It's not though. It's little kiwi thingies. What do you think? 